Today on Beers TV, we're going to try something a bit new with a Reef to Reef FAQ, where we answer a few questions from last week's Beers TV Investigates. In this case, we're answering questions on Aqua Illuminations Prime HDs. The first question was from Chipmunk of Doom 2. Are you overdriving the LEDs, providing more current than the diode was designed to take? This is a solid question related to the HD function of the light. We can run some color or spectrum channels lower and then divert the power to run other spectrums over 100%. Well, it might seem like they're overdriving the LEDs. I spoke with their team, and they shared that at any setting, the LEDs are operating within spec, and they're just shifting the power availability from the power supply between the different diodes. Just to get a bit of vision into that thought process, we looked at a couple of different channels on the Prime with three Cree XTE Royal Blue LEDs and three Cree XPG2 Cool Whites, which both appear to be 5 watt LEDs, and each channel should be around 15 watts maximum. Measured at the wall with a kilowatt, at 100% power we saw the unit running at 15.8 watts for the Royal Blue and 15.5 watts for the Cool White. At the maximum HD setting, they were at 18.7 and 18.2 respectively. Once you consider the operating system power, fans, and efficiency factor of the AC-DC adapter, the wattage going into each LED, even overdriven with the HD function, is likely well within the 5 watt maximum operating spec. Next up, Lactose asked about using the Prime with the upcoming release of the Aquatic Life T5 Hybrid Solution. This is a four bulb T5 fixture designed to accommodate retro editions of a vast majority of the more popular LED modules. You can see here that Zach is trying one out with the Kessel A360W, which is already becoming a popular discussion point around here. The bracket looks like we'll accept a Prime, however you might want to pick up the Prime Hanging Kit, which gives you that L-shaped bracket, and it's going to make it a lot easier to attach. Since the AIs are amongst the lowest cost premium LED options out there, I think you're going to see a lot of reefers using them with Aquatic Life's new hybrid solution. Next up, Harry Gary asked if there's any negative effects of running the UV channel so high. I run mine at 30% and violet and blues at 85. I certainly don't think so. UV is a pretty loosely used term in reefing. And what we're actually talking about in most cases is near UV. And in this case, their UV channel peaks around 409, which is really closer to violet than true UV, which is typically considered under 380. The violet end of the spectrum near 409 nanometers falls within the range that chlorophyll A inside the coral can effectively use and potentially beneficial to the carotenoids as well. It's certainly a spectrum range that seems to highlight the coral's natural fluorescence as well. Thanks for all the awesome questions and hopefully this sheds a bit of light on some of these topics. Honestly, the Reef to Reef community does such an awesome job of helping each other, so it's fun to see everyone's opinions. See you tomorrow with another episode of Beer TV Investigates where we dig into whether or not temperature really matters with T5 performance. I think some of you are gonna be really surprised with the results.